Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to another episode of 5 minutes with Imam. I'm Hussein Baba. As usual, our topics are very interesting and uh, we have invited again our Gold Coast Masjid Imam Sheikh Muhammad Ali. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the show. Jazakallah khair. Okay. Now Imam the uh, now our previous episode yeah. we discussed about hijra. Yes, sir. right? Mm-hmm. Uh, now I, we would like to know, I guess some question people are asking, when you, when Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam prepared for the Hijrah, did he prepare or just decided to go on a Hijrah? Mm-hmm. What was the whole thing? Yes. Uh, uh, if you can explain about what was his intention. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidina Muhammad, all praises due to Allah, peace and the blessings upon our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. My dear brothers and sisters everywhere, Assalamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Just I would like to say, if you want to success, if you want to be successful in this life and in the hereafter, you should prepare well before doing anything. And also you, sh- you should rely upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For example, if you want to start a new business, if you want to study, um, if you want to start like a new project, anything in your life, just you have to prepare. And this is what Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did before his migration from Mecca to al Madina. For example, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave the permission to Prophet Muhammad to Salam. migrate from Mecca to al Madina, then Prophet Muhammad Salam. migrated just without any preparation, what will happen? He will face the same problems in al Madina as he's right. facing now in Mecca. That's right. Okay. That's right. Because people there they will, will do the same thing as people in Mecca, they right. did, That's right. right? Yes. This is why Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam prepared well mm. before he migrates from Mecca to al Madina. Right, right. Number one, one year before his migration, one year, Yes. he sent two of his companions right. to al Madina right. to call people for Islam, yes. to invite people just to make the land ready for him. Right. Okay, right. to prepare the land of al Madina. Right. for his migration, call right. this one to Islam, ask this one to accept Islam, this and that. Right. If Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu after one year he migrates, right. he will find many Muslims there. Mm, okay? Okay. Just one year yes. before his migration, right. two of his companions already there just asking people to convey Islam, to ask it, to accept Islam, right. just to make the land ready for him. Right. Right. The second thing, he asked his companions in Mecca, Yes to uh, migrate but just individually yes. without telling anyone okay if anyone he can go just let go w- without telling anyone right. secret right right okay number three uh, prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him a permission to migrate himself he went to abu bakr one day before then he told him that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave me a permission to migrate right then then decided to go for example tonight right he asked one of his companions which is Ali ibn Abi Talib to sleep in his place right to sleep in Prophet Muhammad's place That's why right. yes. because people of Mecca they will come at night time knock his door try to kill him or something like this right then they used to look from the the hall of yes. his door just to see if someone inside or not right every time when they used to look they found someone, that means Prophet Muhammad yes, still yes. inside, yes. but he's not inside, he's already left. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Ah. Someone sleeping in his place, right. which is Ali ibn Abi Talib. Right. And Prophet Muhammad sallam, right. already left. Right. Uh, when Prophet Muhammad sallam, left, yes. he didn't go f- straight away from Mecca to Al Madina, uh-huh. but he went to a cave, yes. okay, just about three kilometers uh, far from Mecca. Right. Then he decided to stay three days. In the cave? In the cave. Okay. Three days until the, the, the situation of Mecca like calm down and no one asking again about him. Right. They will think that he's already left. Right, right. Okay. Right. After three days, uh, they asked someone. Yes. His name is Abdullah ibn Uraqit. He yes. wasn't a Muslim. Yes. Subhanallah just to to come to them to the cave and right. take them from different ways to to al Madina. okay okay yes just in case maybe someone will see them someone will follow them someone yes. will try to to go and uh, like this right. he took them from different ways uh-huh. this is what prophet muhammad oh, did yes 
And also he asked Abdullah ibn Abi Bakr, the son of Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, right. to spend the day time in Mecca. Right. Then the night time, he used to go to them to the cave just to tell them about the news. Okay. What the people of Mecca are doing, yes. what they are saying, what they are trying to do like this. Right. Just to give them the news. Right. Okay, during right. the day and yes. at, at night he used to come to them. Right. Then they asked uh, Asma, the, the daughter of Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, yes. to bring some food right. to them every night okay. to, to the cave. Right, right. Yeah, subhanAllah, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu he didn't say, yes. for example, Allah asked me to migrate and he will protect me. Right. Just without any preparation. No. Yes. He did well. Ah, yes. He did well. Yes. Why? Just to teach us. That's right. Okay? Yes. Try to do well, then after that rely upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's right. We can see many people, subhanAllah, they do something in their lives yes. without preparation. Right. Okay? Just I will do. Allah will protect me. Allah will save me. Yes. Allah is this. Allah is... Try to do well. Right. This is Prophet Muhammad oh, sallam, and this is what he did just to teach us how to prepare for our lives right. to be successful in this life and in the hereafter. That's right. We should take him as our example. That's right. Inshallah, Inshallah. and try to do like him. That's right. Yeah. You see, if Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam have asked Allah, hmm. Allah will give him immediately. That's it. Right. That's but it. he didn't. That's it. He because didn't. he wants to set an example for the future generation. Yes. yes. You have to do it by yourself. Yes. yes. Right? Yes, yes. And then you ask dua from Allah to protect. Yeah? Yes, yes. So, so that will be Allah's responsibility. Yes, okay. yes, you must do the first part. Yes. Good. So yes. remember that, right? Like there's an example, tie the camel before you sleep. Yes. Right? So, that's right. Yes. And the camel. Don't just leave the untied camel and that's go to it. sleep. That's okay? It. You must tie the camel and ask Allah to protect. Yes. Well, that was very interesting. And I want to hear more interesting topics <laughs> like this. Okay, once again, thank you so much viewers. We'll see you next time in our next episode. Assalamu alaikum.